my name is Monica Tone. I am um, a resident here on the Pajaro River, Monterey County side of um, the Pajaro River. <laughs> and there's three sides of the river. There's Monterey County, Watsonville City, and Santa Cruz County, which is still Watsonville. Um, so December, December, the um, officers, Monterey County and Smith and Light Construction Company came down here and disrupt our community. We are a community combined of um, multiculture, um, mostly Hispanic who don't speak English or Spanish, um, who don't read and write either. Um, but these are these are working working class people that try to you know live as off the grid as they can. Um, this is in 2021. I'm 20. Sorry, this is 2021. 2020, they came. Ten months down, ago, yeah. Yeah. This <laughs> 2020, they came down here, and that's when our our lives were disrupted. So, as of 2021, and we're in September, on 24th, I believe it is today. Um, so I've been in one spot. I've been living in one spot since um, December because I was promised permanent housing from the sheriff's department in Monterey County. So I decided to, my protest is to stay exactly where the person promised me permanent housing. Um, 10 minutes later, after I was promised a permanent housing, I was told, sorry, there's nothing we can do for you. So my hopes were given up. My hopes were up and there was nothing else that I felt I could do. So I decided that I'm going to stay right where they put, right where they said they're going to offer me permanent housing. So I stay there till this day. I have not seen an officer on this river since they were here in December of 2000. Um, and that's when they destroyed my house and took all kinds of my stuff. So, um, on the 23rd, no, 22nd, I believe, well, I was given from one of my, um, community members a letter, a notice, this notice right here, right. which states that, um, eviction, that states that they're, that they're to be evicted. Um, it says, Sheriff's Office of Monterey County says the notice is to vacate illegal campsites you are trespassing. Okay, well, I've been here for the last 10 years on this on this um, river, and this is my home. It's not just a campsite, so I don't understand what, what the campsite thing was about. Um, this notice wasn't just given to him. It was given to one other person. Oh, not sorry, excuse me. It was put on one other campsite. So that's two, this is two notices that I'm, that I, that I'm noticing about, but my, my, my residence where I live on the Pajaro River is the only house that is seen. The only house. Everybody else is out of sight, out of mind. I want to just stress this. I am on top of the river. Been posted here for about nine, no, nine months now. No, ten months. About ten months now. And um, not nobody has said anything to me. I have not even seen this notice until the other day. Somebody gave this to me, a resident, because I needed to see it. Um, and I haven't received this. So I'm wondering why I haven't received this when I live right smack in front of everything. I'm not out of sight, out of mind. I'm posted, I'm the only one that you can see from every entrance, which would be Valeros and Gonda. And I know that I can see my place because I walk this river all the time. Um, no officers has ever bothered me or said anything to me, but I stress this because my, my physically, mentally, and emotionally, this hurts me. You know, and not just me, I gotta gather my things if if they're, if they're coming. I gotta make sure that my my community's safe. You know, it's not just me out here, like I said. Let alone there's community members that are at work right now that won't that will come home to nothing. Um, so I just would like to put this out there that the sweeps need to stop. This is my home. This is not just this is not just a river to me. It's not just a campsite to me. This is my home. Like I said, I've been here for the last almost ten years, and I this is this is my home. This is my home. My family's Native American, and we live off the grid. This is how we live, and I don't. And I feel like Monterey County sheriffs need to start protecting their oath and and live by their oath and and know that they're working for me because I also pay taxes too. And um, that's basically what I would like to say. This this notice right here is a it's based off of vehicle codes. I don't have a car, and the, nobody up here has a car. And I'm not trespassing because I live here. So if somebody owns this property right here, they know I'm here. They know I'm here. I'm not hiding from nobody. Like I said, I'm, I'm in sight, not out of sight. Thank you. My name is Monica Tone, and I approve this message. Uh, when, when they, hold on, hold on. I got okay. a couple questions. Uh, when, they, uh, when they came in December, mm -hmm. uh, did CSU and BCHA or anybody come? 
yeah, no, no, no. Um, somebody came from, okay, well, first the one that came, they harassed us for the first five days that they came. Just letting us know you have to go, you have to go, you have to go. And so we didn't really have opportunity to even gather our stuff because we were being harassed constantly. These are the sheriffs. These are about. the sheriffs, yeah. Okay. Um, and then we kind of figured, okay, well, it's going to take them time to get down this way, you know, which it took them more than what the days were that they were on the paper. They said they're going to be there from the 5th to fifth to the 5th to the 6th or something like okay. that. Okay. And they ended up being here from the 5th to the tw almost two days before Christmas. So, um, and those days were really cold too, by the way. Um, were you offered services for housing or anything? We weren't offered. Okay, I was offered service, so right. I was offered permanent housing. I was offered permanent, actually, me, myself, and four other women. Not, not anybody else. Four other women were offered permanent housing from Officer Mendoza. He said, he said you four are here. I promise you guys I'm going to get you guys permanent housing. I will be right back. And a couple, couple, couple minutes later, another officer came and said, you know, we tr we got all we tried everything we do. Called all the people we could call. Sorry, there's nothing we can do. We're taking down your structures, which is our shelter. Yeah. Uh, th this last round. So the 21st was uh, t Tuesday. So okay. Tuesday afternoon, you you called me, and told me that was there. Uh, no, no, I was given this. I was given this. They brought this to me. I didn't. I didn't receive this. This is this letter came from a from a community member that lives probably about 10 blocks away. Did you see any other notices at that site location? I have not seen any. This is the only notice that I have seen, but I did hear about another notice. Um, the person that, that you got that from, mm -hmm. did they ever mention that there were any services provided for housing? No, there, but there was a packet that was given and the packet that was given to them did have services that don't exist anymore the services that they say they have they don't exist or they're in monterey county which we don't have vehicles out here we're homeless we don't have transportation to get to those places so what do we do you know what are we supposed to do um from my understanding is they're supposed to put um offer us bins and all kinds of stuff for us to store our place our stuff in but when we do store our stuff how are we going to get to our stuff when first of all at nighttime it's cold how am i going to get my blankets from storage how am I going to get my things from storage? You know, I am. Um, I would also like to stress too, the waterway, the watermarks, the high water mark where they say we got to be 150 feet from. I am nowhere near a high water mark. Okay, I'm nowhere near high water mark. The high water mark is where the bridge is, the Pajaro Bridge. That's supposed to down there. The high water mark is down there. It's not where nowhere near me. So I would like to stress that too. And the reason why I know this is because Santa Cruz County. Where there's campers, where, there, where the homeless are camped, encampments are, they are camped nowhere near the high water marks. I've asked people where the high water marks, and they show me where the high water marks are, and they're nowhere, they're 100 feet, 150 feet from the high water marks. So I've been educated on where it is, and I also know that where I stand is where I live, and this is, this is where my community is. So I would like to stress that um, there are people that live down here. The, um, sorry, the state sent. Oh, sorry, the federal census know that I'm down here because they documented that there's people that live down here on the river, and you know, um, so it's not like we're not known. I would also like to state since they know the Monterey County sheriffs know that we are down here, they know we're down here. I wonder why we don't have proper utilities as far as bathrooms, as far as um, places for us to wash our hands. You know, like Santa Cruz, they have all that. Luckily, they have all that. They spoiled. You know, we want to be spoiled too, and I, I want to know what it takes for us to get that out here. I think every known campsite, they need to have this stuff because right now we have an epidemic going on called COVID, C-O-V-I-D-19, and that is a killer. Just like Roundup, it's a killer, okay? Now, Monterey County too does spray Roundup. Just by the way, I just want to put that out there. Just want to put that out there. They spray Roundup, and as you can see the back, my background is the cause of Roundup, okay? Um, I would also like to add that... Um, these, you know, the health department comes down here and yet they had a problem with us being down here, but you're spraying, you're spraying Roundup. Like so those. you want, so Roundup is to the river. There's a river way over here and in back of me, that's our food supply, which would be called, um, it is Lakeside Organics. I don't know how it could be organic, but Lakeside Organics is also infested with Roundup that Monterey County sprays. I would say 10 miles that way, 
about 15 miles that way. Uh, and in this uh, Pajaro River homeless community, mm -hmm. about how many folks are out here? Um, well, this area right here, there's probably about 20, 25 in this little tiny area. But on this river, counted by the counted by the sheriff's department last year, 150. And I would put two people to every house. I heard you're starting a homeless union up here. Yes, I am the president of the homeless union here in Pajaro River, Pajaro, as well as Watsonville. Um, I try to maintain and see what's going on in my community as far as like who needs what and who's being picked on and wh um, what side is being swept or what's going on or where the cleanups are. Um, I know that there's Ramsey, there's um, the, the Ramsey, there's a slew, there's also behind um, Safeway, there's, um, there's, there, there's a lot of homeless camps that we do have here in Watsonville and I try to make sure that we're, I try to make sure that we're okay and you know, we're all taken care of. A lot of things I would like to also um, stress is these, these places don't have proper facilities either as far as hand washing stations, sanitizers, places to go to the bathroom. So I'm just asking that, you know, maybe the health, Santa Cruz Health Human Service person that comes down here um, can actually do something about, you know, handing out the flyers that she hands out with her services on them, you know, to, to the people, but th to the people after the fact that there's after the fact that their places are taken or their property is destroyed. Um, I also would like to ask where her, where the property is that they've taken because, you know, my community members are being robbed. They don't have, um, they have no knowledge of where their things have gone, including IDs, including birth certificates, including baby pictures, including whatever else, you know? This time of year right now is getting cold. It's not the time for, it's not the time for sweeps. It's not the time for sweeps. At the end of the day, you get to go home. I am home. Stop coming to my home and taking it. Stop coming to my home and robbing my, my family, my friends. Stop coming to my home. We don't destroy your home, but we can move into your community real quick if you don't stop destroying our home. Right, that's just where we're going to go. We're going to go into your community. I live on the Pajaro River. It's nice out here. It's nice out here. We love it out here. I love it out here. Santa Cruz County, there's, like I said, there's three sides to the river. Neither side, none of the sides, none of the river has any kind of porta potties. They don't have no sanitary stations. Um, there is, there is another, there is another levee way, but it's not. It doesn't have anything to do with this pajaro right here. They have benches and they have poopy bags for your dogs. I bet you know if we were dogs or we were animals, we would be offered shelter. We would be offered homes and we'd be offered. We would have, we would have um, place to go. We wouldn't be disrupted. You know, I mean, they take care of dogs better than they do the people. You know, what I got to do, bark, Earth, leave me alone. I don't really have rats around here. There's not really rats, not a lot of rats I've seen, that I've seen. I'm not saying they don't exist, but they're not where I am. Um, blankets of trash, if there is blankets of trash, it's because they left it last year when they left it. Okay, I've been picking up the trash for almost a year, and I still haven't got it all up. In Watsonville City, while people are going off to work, um, they leave their camps. And this is Santa Cruz County, let me add. This is Watsonville City, but Santa Cruz County. And they just go up with the bulldozer and pick up dirt and put it over their house and bury their house and whatever is inside of it. Whatever is inside of it. I mean, that's not just playing with somebody. That's emotionally, mentally, and physically disrespecting somebody's um, you know I would say fourth amendment right I mean, well you're just destroying them anyway so you might as well just go ahead and disrespect d disrupt their whole their whole life like you did like I'm, like they did like they do this this whole river could flood this whole river can but only if they open up the floodgates will this river get high they know who's down here they the floodgates that they open and how they open it is right there there's a gate and that's where that's where they open the floodgates which is that facility up there. So we know when they open it because we hear it. They cover it, they leave it, and guess what happens when the river does come? It does rise and it does potentially um, cause cause um, flooding and stuff like that because things get stuck in the different kind of trees and stuff like that. But you know, they also cut down, we have historic trees out here and they also cut down historic trees. Mind you, the Roundup is not doing any good for these trees either. There's a few trees that have been affected by Roundup and has fallen or the limbs are getting really, really um, braille. So 
These historic trees have been here for years and years and years and years. And they consist of having um, nests that belong to um, a lot of animals, a lot of birds that are um, becoming extinct. So today there was a notice for 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's almost 10 now, I guess. Uh, so it's a fair likelihood they're not coming today. Um, how does that make you feel? Did, did, you, did you get pretty stressed about the, the, the sweep coming and getting you as well? Um, well, you know, all week I've been stressing about it. Um, I went to Santa Cruz, you know, and like I said, I'm a voice for, I'm, I'm a voice for many, not just for myself. And so I, I stress off of that too, being a voice for people that can't speak or, or afraid to speak or um, scared of the police or scared of, um, you know, politics or just don't understand what's going on, period. Luckily, you know, I am kind of bilingual, not really, but I do, I am able to speak Spanish and talk to my community members, you know, and um, let them know what's going on. Still, they still run because they're scared. They're scared. They don't want to, they don't want to face um, people that, not only are they scared, sometimes people, you know, they don't want people to know that they're homeless. Like, some people are, some people, you know, don't want people to think or judge them in certain ways. Um, as for myself, you can judge me however you want, but... You just you got to get to know me in order to to love me, but you know it, it's it's stressful. Um, I had to go. To, you know I go into Santa Cruz because this is where I get my information from. This is where I get my knowledge from. This is where I get. You know when I go to the front lines of, of where um, homeless people are being actually kind of respected. You know I get um, I get my information from there and and I bring it back home. You know and I tell my neighbors. Um, my family, my hint, I tell them, I tell them what's going on and, you know, I voice my legal opinions, I voice my rights, I, um, I would like to get an injunction down here, you know, soon. Um, so there's things that I'm, there's things that I would like done out here, but first I would like just to be left alone and me be able to enjoy my, my home, my home. We want toilets down here. We want, we, porta potties, you know, I mean. If you're going to treat us like anything, at least put some civilization down here. You know, I mean, you do have workers that come out here, too, to clean up, right? I don't see one porta potty when they're out here. You know, and um, I think that's a violation of the law not to have bathrooms. You know, um, I think all rivers should have restrooms, you know, whether you're public or, or what is it called, uh, private property. Um, I, don't, I don't feel like um, these officers are being very fair about who they're coming down here picking and choosing who they can violate. Um, I think that they should have consequences about that. Like I said, they're public, they're public, they're public officers. They're to protect, they work for us. Whether I'm, whether I'm a working citizen or not, they still work for us. Um, but they choose who to protect. They choose who to protect and they choose who to rob. And I think that is very, it's very, um, it's, it's very sad. Especially knowing that we don't have nothing, especially knowing we're homeless and people, homeless people don't have nothing, right? So how are you going to take things that they have? You know, it's not right to take a blanket from somebody who is cold. You know, it's not right to um, take something, from, take a home from somebody when it's going to rain. You know, it's not right. You know, especially the holidays are coming up again. Here they come. You know, the holidays are coming up again and here, here come the officers right now. Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, we were wondering about those, if, if uh, that's, that's what was going on today. What were you saying, sir? Sorry. Uh, uh, the notices there. The notices there? Yeah, yeah, we were just trying to figure out about the notices. Uh, except for today or something else. Why are you just having people move along? Mm -hmm. um, not being evicted, but they're going to remove a lot of the trees and the foliage in the next coming days. So we're just trying to give everybody a heads up if they're living in the area to just be cognizant of that, move along when you see it. Otherwise, they're going to lose certain, they're they're some of their to stuff. To defoliate some of this because of the erosion, they're going to do some construction. So they ask us to make contact, let them know there's going to be heavy equipment out here in the area. And it may affect some of their, uh, hopefully it doesn't affect any of their, and then we give them resources if they need so I don't. Um, so I don't bother nobody. I've been here since um, yes, since December of the sweeps, mm -hmm. and um, that's my facility right there, the, the top one. I know okay. that I seen you guys come here last last week, and I didn't. I wasn't able to. I, nobody, I actually stopped down there. Right. Yeah. So nobody. Mm. I did hear you guys stop here, but nobody came to my my place to 
hand me one of those or anything like that. So it drew a concern to me because I know I, I've been here for not, I've been here for almost ten years, and um, last year when they last year sorry I'm recording. Um, so what are your concerns? So my my concerns are that you know, just being swept, you know, because last year when they came. Smith and like they destroyed. I mean, they they still I still pick up the rubbish from what they left. Uh, mm. So my concern is I want to make sure that I'm going to be okay <laughs> and my property is not going to be taken because I I'm I'm not going to move from my spot because I was promised permanent housing from an officer and that's my protest right there. Really? Yes. And I'm I'm yeah. I'm the president of the homeless union here. You talked to host I um, imagine probably I've last. I talked. It was Mendoza last year. It was, it was Mendoza, Officer Mendoza. Okay. Um, this is. So, anyways, I was promised my permanent housing right there in that spot, so that's where I reside until, you know, that's my protest. Anyways, I'm the prom I'm president of the homeless union. My name is Monica Tone. Um, I'm Dave. the president of the homeless union here and in and Watson also. Good to meet you. Um, so, what we're doing today is just telling people we're going, telling everybody in the area that may be affected mm -hmm. that they're going to be moving heavy equipment mm -hmm. down here to clear out all this brush. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with us, with so, you, okay. but it's going, we're not evicting right now or cleaning anybody okay. up, but we're ha we're putting everybody on notice. It's probably mm -hmm. going to disrupt everything around here. Mm -hmm. and we'll be out here again when they do that to kind of help monitor okay. that. So what, what the plans are after that, I have no idea, but so, this is the relative so, to the erosion. And I just talked to him. If there's any way that you can maybe. Mr. Foxworthy himself, who's the engineer relative okay. to that. Okay. It's, it's based it up on the water. Oh, right now, we're in, not doing uh, any trespassing. Uh, we had these attached to the, all the resources the list that we have here. Five, but in reality, it's exactly just resources if the people here need them. There's mention of, like, if you go back here, the guy was looking it over. It has a lot of services. It's not just. You know, so I get what you're saying, like right. a shelter well, that just feeds you or anything. You no, know, it has If you look at it, it's along the peninsula and it's just meanest, but nothing's here in Pajaro. Nothing's here in uh, I, got, I got you. Now, that's why we're not coming here under. We're just coming in peace, just letting people know what they're going to do. You know, the foliage removal. They are going to have heavy equipment in the area. So we're letting you know, or not you, but people here that live here. Just to let everybody know, to just kind of pass the word along so they can protect as much as they can. So it's because, because they're, I mean, the, the reason I'm here is because we, we got one of these green notices at 921, vacate by 924. Gotcha. Uh, uh, so you know that's today yeah. and it's like what are you doing because exactly. you know uh, it's you're not properly noticed and you know, so what, what you're saying is you're just trying to contact people help. directly yeah. which is not very helpful you know, honestly and, and it's scary because what happened was uh, you know they left the posting on, on the on the door yeah. nobody was home so they had no idea no context just a just a vacate notice you know on, on Friday which was today so we're like what in the world is going on here um, you know, and, and, and we, we've had that happen before a few months ago with a, a red, uh, a red um, notice, not green, not bright green, but, but red. Um, and you know, it's just completely colored authority, you know, somebody just jerking around, oh, one, one of your deputies, uh, you know, co uh, you know, completely obliterating the, the line of, of luck. Uh, and, and that felt like, like that's what, because there were only two notices given, uh, no context given to any of that, um, just basically you gotta go. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and so you know so that's, that's why I'm here because of the, the, the improper notice yeah. at the top. And uh, you know, I mean, CDC guidelines, shelter in place, all these things, humanitarian. Uh, you know, CDC also says if if you know there's people here, and I'll tell you right now, these folks right here at the Potter River Homeless Community, they they've signed up with the Coalition of Homeless Service Providers. They're on the, the list for housing. They're, they 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 they've been given whatever these folks are willing to offer. Good. Hopefully they get more. It's it's nothing. So so they've gone through this process. They don't they don't own this. Um, I I know there's the Salvation Army. Water sources, uh, they don't know. Um, it's actually yeah, only and, uh, uh, the veterans yeah, hall or something so like that. I've done, I've done okay. But um, more or less, there, there, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> not, you know, the, the need is overwhelming. We all know this. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's nowhere to put anybody anyway. Anyway, okay. you know, so so what do you do? This this is this is sales pitch. You know, it's bait and switch. Yeah. No, right now. All we want to give them is the resources. We don't. Yeah, you're right. We want to make sure that maybe the resources aren't enough to cover freak them out. They show them the equipment. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's going to be properly. Well, well, well even, even, even just minimal needs. needs. So there you go. You know, CC guidelines say porta potties. You know, for one for every two people. Is that what? So, like I said, right now we're not evicting them. We're not coming here threatening anybody to move or they're going to be arrested. That is the purpose of this. Purpose is to come. Let them know what's going to happen here in the levee. 
you know, the county has made that decision. And whoever made that decision, you know, right. to come to that makes sense. Uh, you know, it makes sense. Or, uh, things need to be done. Um, I, 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 you know, everything's been poisoned, everything on the, on this level, apparently, um, you know, from what I've heard, uh, a, lot, a lot of uh, pesticides and all that's going to end up in the river. So it's like, you know, what, what are we doing? Uh, you know, go ahead. I, I realize that there's a multi-jurisdictional agency cooperation. Uh, you know, but, but but without a date or anything, it, 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 it really does just put people more on edge. Oh, for sure, and that's totally understandable. And that's why we're coming here again. Where if you notice, we're going. We're going to come and contact everybody again. Let them know the purpose this time is not to trespass you, not to evict you. Again, just to let you know, heavy machinery is going to come. Don't quote me on the date. My sergeant might know the date specifically if that's what worries you and what people can prepare. A, a in concern, for yes. For sure, for yes. sure, that is a concern. So I don't know the specific date right now. We can tell you a little bit more about it, but I do know that machinery, heavy equipment is going to come through. And we just want to make sure that people that are living here can take the measures necessary to at least protect Well, and, and, and honestly, the communication is appreciated. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, that, that's, that's all, all we're trying to do is be respected as human yeah, beings, yeah, you know, yeah, not, not just, you know, we're not a business, so therefore we, we don't count. We we're not homeowners, we don't count. You know, I mean, yeah, everything's yeah, contract yeah, oriented and, and it's very difficult to survive like that. I met uh, Louise the other day and we came and explained to them and we noticed that they moved along. We don't know if they were living here. I don't think they were. A lot of them just come and just chill here because they have friends and this is like a, a place where, you know, there's obviously the criminal element side too here that's going down in the levee. So, you know, you're right. There is a lot of jurisdictions meeting up and then one person wants one thing, one other person, but nobody really knows what the core issue is except the people that are living here and the people advocating here. So, no, for sure. I see where you're coming from. I, I like your passion for helping out people who can't help out themselves. And honestly, right now, sir, like we're just here telling you exactly what, what we're doing and that's exactly what we're doing so it's just to mitigate the issues they're going to have you know later on. a little bit more like like even a note going stating the two sentences of that you know what would have been really much more clear than this because this looks like yeah no so Right now, this is all I have, you know, just the leftover because I knew it had the resources. Or, or at least, at least, a blacked out that. You, yeah. if, if you got a marker, can, can you can you black out these? Uh, honestly, we can just take off this complete thing right here, this green this green sheet right here, because, like I said, we're not yeah. people. To leave. We're not evicting people. So. The main point that I grabbed these because they were left is, behind is from last time. It's the coalition pages, right? Well, it's just the re the way I understand them from what I saw. It was just the resources. Hey, whatever you guys can get out of here because I know there's some self-help numbers here and other things that you can further read on. Okay. Um, just I don't know exact, and then also the considerations of what the public is uh, dealing with, what they consider. It's just information in general about their circumstance, and then other places where they can go and get the legal resources, the living resources. Resources, eating resources, as limited as they may be, you know, I don't have any say on, just like you and me, we don't have any say on what those resources uh, but, but, are. But we actually have a lot more. We, there's no reason to surrender to, to religion and politics. You know, we, 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 that's actually our point is to make it, make it real. You know, I mean, that's, that's, that's there's no, no point in words unless we're going to make it real. So California homeless, you know? is yeah. that, what is that? Tell me a little more. Uh, well, we got about 20, 20 chapters right now. Um, uh, I'll give you a card just for fun. That's just me individually not the union uh, but um you know i do a youtube channel anything up on positive civic social environmental justice oriented yeah. And homeless is one of those you know, topics that, have, that is pretty intense uh, and neglected. But there are people, this is human rights, we worry about stuff abroad, but not, not here at home. You know, that, and, uh, that, you know, I mean, we're terrorists, but then who are the terrorists? You know, you know, know I mean, it's ourselves because, because the way we together, say things, you know, but don't yeah, follow through. And it's the policymakers, and everything's about legal. Nine tenths of the law is deniability. So, you know, and where's the fourth right now? So here we are just trying to video, cop, watch, same stuff with George Floyd, you know. I mean, just so, trying to be a conscious County, citizen and, uh, you know, know protect, preserve, know you know, everything that, that you say you're, you're upholding with the Constitution. Right. Right. So we're, we're very trying very to, to just validate that and go, good job, you know. Good for you. And when they don't turn out that way, that's when we're like, hey. And, and that's what you should do, right? Yeah. That, there's nothing wrong with that. I saw you guys. And I'm like, cool. I don't know what's going on until now. But yeah, well, we, we were talking about, you know, the sweet thing and, and the notice that says 8 o'clock on uh, the 24th. So you thought we were here evicting it. Oh my God! You know, ah, I got you. That makes sense. Spot. Now it makes sense. As far as they, they want to go do yeah, their yeah. So you know, um, no so yeah, no, it definitely. Uh, whoever wrote that, there needs to be a consequence, and especially if it's the same person that wrote the red one, because there there was a red one given to a guy, 
uh, and, and you know, um, only one guy. So a total impact, oh, a total color of authority. Say, hey, we're um, just we're just a jerky move to do. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and if it was that same dude, so the, 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 I want to get him consequence. Cool. Yeah, look, I, I, still I, I hear you. And I, I'm just not, talked to my sergeant about it because I wouldn't know. Please, He's going to have go, access to who was here and what they were doing, under what authority they were here. So I wouldn't know the answer to that, unfortunately. Water, yeah. Well, it's appreciated. Um, yeah. and and you know, just, just so you're taking, so you know, uh, a uh, advanced ago. warning, Actually, more, more, more ago, positive, proactive communication. Yeah, For sure. So, as that is what's needed. So definitely, um, Monica here is, is you know, a real good point contact person um, for, you know, distributing, hopefully, conscious and compassionate you know, so information. I also tell my sergeant these yeah, people have, yeah, they have a need to go. And a lot of them didn't want to go, some of them did, and some were yeah. like, hey, there's nowhere yeah. for me to go. So, like, let you know, me make we're some not calls. here trying so to just dust off, because they're going to go somewhere. Give me just right? this one second. So, and, so that's why we come to the same It's not got exactly what everybody wants to see. That's what we have as a sheriff's office. This is it. We're not in charge of it. But you should be demanding more, because you're the one actually on the front saying, hey, we're doing the best we can. No, you're not. No, no you can do it. You can try a lot harder. But you know what, dude? These things suck. Give them something better. Yeah, we got everything yeah. going yeah. on. Yeah. I I think it's a community as a whole that needs to come together and and put that pressure. You know, in my opinion, because not just you know we could just come up and say hey we need this, but is it really? Does other people see it the same way? Do they really know what the problem is here? Do they really understand the homeless issue that we have down here? Well, we don't. They may or may not. It's wealth inequality. I mean, on, on the whole, I mean, the only reason they're here is process of elimination. They can't afford to be somewhere. They've been exiled. Uh, uh, you know, eviction or crime has has precluded them from being able to be a productive member of society, being able to be taken advantage of with wage theft and everything else. So you know, I mean, it's, it's really a losing battle. Uh, and, and you need 1,200 to sign up for one of these things to be able to get housing, subsidize anything. Housing authority, how much you got? How much yeah. are you making a month? Oh, no, 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 we can't qualify you because no, you need to pay most of it. Absolutely. And, you know, so why do you think they're homeless? Because yeah. they get the sh in fact, They've tried it. You know, I mean, it, 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 that's what I mean. They've, they've signed up for all these things. And, 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 uh, for that, there should be an immunity from sweeps altogether. Oh, you're signing up for services? Don't, then we already said we're going to help you. You're not harmless. You're not homeless anymore. You're not harmless. Because we already identified you. We said we're going to help you. Now get out. So, uh, That's not. Yeah, no, no, no. And, and I get you. That makes sense. <clears throat> That's totally, totally uh, reasonable, in my opinion. Next time you come out, uh, uh, type that. Yeah, type, to, type you know, three like, sentences well, or whatever. You know, so um, just, just stating, the, you around. know, the, the point. Well, right? We just, just, just do like heavy equipment is coming. That's, just I mean, want you to stay out of the way. You know, um, you might want to move. Yeah. You know, that's that's literally it. That's literally yeah. it. And that's why we're going doing the face to face with everybody. And if we if you talk to anybody of the people that we talk, you know, back here, the few people that we have. We told, just run the word. Let them know exactly so what we're saying, that's and let them know if they need us. We can give them the resources that we have available at this time. You know, and it is just kind of throwing like something. But I mean, at least we're not making your, we're not displacing you. We're not making your life worse, and then forcing you to go get something else. You know, so much better, so much better than, than trying to give us chump change while you're still yeah, yeah. Get out, and here you go. No, I get it. I get. I get what you're saying. You know, there should be enough, uh, uh, enough of a notice. People should have. You know, some relative safety, knowing that transition is coming and what they're going to do. And you know, like, as you know, it's not going to be perfect for everybody, but hopefully, the notice at least helps out a little bit. I, I really appreciate your attitude. Yeah, man. You know, um, and, and I hope you bring it up the chain of command there. You know, because there there, there shouldn't be any sweeps without fiduciary. Me and him are on the same page, so if you talk to him, it's gonna be along the same lines as far as what we're doing today. So, Wes, right? Yes. Wes. Nice to meet you. My name is Omar. But you can't ignore. Okay, right on, Omar. My last name is Rubio. If you need it. Okay. But anyways, like I said, we're just we're just, <laughs> we're just us two gonna go down. I'm all ears. How far we're going. Um, we, we, sure we are everybody gets that notice as much as we can. Here, you know, uh, I'm glad that uh, his no, Sergeant Murray he, he said just Dr. Rubio. Uh, and we're both on the same thing. Yeah, so we like what we do. Uh -huh. We both like working. So we're, 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 we're here on the Monday then? Or so we were here, the but we were, we were on different. So we were on different areas of the levy, so I'm not exactly sure which ones we talked to, which ones we didn't see. Yeah, well, there's a, um, uh, right, right where them cottontails are right there, there's a setup, and there was a notice. And that's the one that said 8, 8, 8 a.m. the 24th, you got to get out. So we probably, like you said, there's probably areas where things, they weren't there, so we just couldn't give them the whole... Uh, 
the whole oh, yeah, tip of that I'm giving you here, you know, like, hey, yeah, right, explain right. exactly. Yeah, yeah, it was just hung up on, on the so screen. So if you go, I believe there's, I believe they talked, I don't know, they divided Oh, yeah, no, it's the spread, yeah. yeah. So I don't know exactly the specific spot from what I heard, you know, that night that they were out there or the day that they were out there. They were explaining it very thoroughly. I don't know too much about this trespassing thing. That's why I tell you to direct yeah, yeah, those questions yeah, yeah. because I really don't know. I don't want to tell you something that's incorrect and then okay. he has to fix it. Okay, so, but, but when you first came out on the 21st, you were, you were saying the same bit. Yeah, so the, the first, like, like I said, talk to him, redirect that question okay, for, okay. for the trespassing thing sure. because I really don't know the answer Tuesday. to that yeah, for those okay. particular okay. people that we talked to. I know that they did leave. If we weren't able to reach some people, we were taping these up. But the main purpose was to get these people the resources, and I get it. They're not the best resources or whatever have you. No, they're no, the resources cool. that I have. We, we, we got to get connected and, and at least try. And some people don't know about them at all. And and that's I, true. I did interact with some, some people some on the uh, last few days, even today. Hey, I don't have that. I don't know anything yeah, about it. Can you show me? Hey, yeah. And they start looking it over. Like, I didn't know this, this, or that. Cool. Thank you. You know? So that makes my day a little better. I know it's not the, I can't save the world, but I can give you at least something, you know, to. But no, right now, what I'm told you, I don't know what happened on the 21st exactly, asking. But um, for sure, you know, this is what we're doing today. So. I'll follow up, yeah, you know, the rest of the way because you really, the more knowledge that these folks have, open communication, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, the, the more, the more they, the, uh, we'll feel, you know, respected. Maybe um, the sergeant can, you know, kind of recommend uh, uh, porta potties, you know, because there, there's about a couple Didn't dozen people just, just in, you know, about four blacks. Didn't they have some up on like the Brooklyn side area? I, I didn't know who, but I don't know uh, you, you'd have to ask Monica, no. but I, I don't think uh, uh, anything on, on from Monterey County side. Has done anything. Watsonville's got a couple right there next to uh, Linear Park. Mm -hmm. um, I see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah see them. In, in that in that parking lot. Yeah. But um, you know, otherwise, th that's it as far as I understand. Mm -hmm. You know, but Monica might know. But this depends. You know, there's there's room, there's you know, law enforcement. You have to wear so many hats. You're not just you're not just one. You have to like know your audience. You have to know what you're talking about. You have to be safe while you're doing it. There's a lot of things that go into it, you know. But for the most part, in my experience, you're just kind of people. You just show up and talk to people. People are usually gonna respect you, even people who are doing wrong. But I am sorry, man. I messed up. It, it's cool. We, got most we can always fix that. Yeah, you know, I might have to charge you, but maybe you won't go to jail this time because you're honest. You know, like, you know, both ways. You know, and the same thing. If I'm not honest, I guess what? I lose my job, or worse, if I do I violate the law and the color of authority, I go to jail. I know people who've gone to jail for doing stuff like that. Really? Okay. Yeah, I know, okay. I know, I'm, I know. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> I know because I, I get I scared. Think nothing ever happens. No, don't. I don't know. I don't want to say don't be fooled or nothing because I don't mm -hmm. think you are. I don't, you don't come off as someone that would be. It's just sometimes you know we don't hear everything. We're not because we just assume. Right. Hey, like, yeah, that's not going to happen. That yeah. doesn't happen. You know, just okay. look up, Same you know, kind of look, look right? it up. Yeah. I mean, I have friends that are in law enforcement all over the place, and they always say, oh, so-and-so, you know, got so fired for such and such. And such. Okay. They're like, you know, like, it is what it is. If you're not meant for this job, just don't do the job. And if you're going to be doing stuff that you're not supposed to, get fired or go to jail or whatever. I, I see it that way. I genuinely see it that way. I don't care how other people see it, because that's how I see it. That's how I'm going to live. And if whatever happens, I don't care, because I'm still going to be me. So it doesn't matter what I'm doing. Uh, like like uh, every every thing's got like a P police officer association, sheriff's association, uh, you know. But the things they mostly advocate for is your own pay, you know, which makes it more self centered And I wish they would be like, but our service, our service needs to be top notch, and you know, we, which would go back to you know pu pushing for for actually selling something that's real rather than you know just paper and words, uh, you know, and the impact because because the impact. Is, is should be the the primary concern. What's going to happen if I do so? Should that happen? You know, uh, because because we're here to uphold the Constitution more than anything else. You know, yeah. whatever policies, rules, whatever. Um, now the, that uh, yellow that card system really works. Like I don't, um, you learn a lot when you talk to little children, as you know, as a teacher. You learn a lot about yourself as an adult. You know, a lot of the children. Um, a lot of adults don't have their children needs met, you know, and I've learned that as I'm sure you know all about that. And so you grow up and you still don't have those needs met. So when someone just comes up to you and says, hey, good job, yeah, you know, just talks to you like a normal person, it makes you day. Because, you know, it's so uncommon nowadays, or it feels like it's uncommon. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, so, someone, so when I see everybody here, 
I see what people like this little and their child that just didn't get me. You know, they they went through some hard road. Why would I look down on them? Because that could easily be me, and it easily could be. You know, I mean that because I've seen that happen. People that are at the top or living a comfortable life in the middle class, and then they're at the lower class, and then before you know it, they are homeless. And I've had to help out families like that. I've been homeless before. I know what that's like. So I can't. Look, I've lived out of my car before. I know what that's like. I can't look down on people that are doing the same thing. Yeah. Granted, you know, like, we come from different lot, schools of life. Of like, I actually, I'm not know, saying that people aren't trying. I don't know what their circumstances. I can't come. So what I'm saying is, I can't come up to them and yeah. say you're have, doing this wrong because I don't know. What if they've been trying and more than I know? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't yes, know how yes, bad yes, addiction yeah, is. Yeah, I don't know how bad addiction is. I don't know about how bad mental health is, illness is to them. You know, everybody's perspective is completely different than mine. So you know, it, it is difficult to be a cop nowadays because you know you're, you're, there's expectations of what you're supposed to do. Here's this book. Here's this penal code. This is what you're supposed to be doing. This is what you're supposed to be enforcing. But there's also what what I hold very dear is their spirit of the law. There's letter of the law, and then there's spirit of the law. And for me, spirit of the law is always my way to go. Because if what did what was the reason for this law? What was it really trying to prevent? So if I cite this person for whatever and I see that I can fix it at my level at our level hey what is it that you really want you know actually I just want a ride here actually I just wanted to get a candy bar or something to hold whatever it is it can be too small for this but you can help out somebody you show them your humanity and that goes a long way it's like that out of the way in school that keeps you wanting to move up as an adult right so I see it that way I mean I, I study a lot of sociology anthropology like I do that on my spare time because I enjoy it I wasn't lying to you that is my genuine nature you know i love talking to people and, and north i could talk all day <laughs> you know but i mean at the same time i'm cognizant i have a job to do when i'm here i have this job i'm doing my job but i try to do it the, the how would i want it done if i was on the other end of it no matter even if i'm a criminal or whatever how would i want it done yeah yeah what are you signing your name to what, what is your legacy and like, that's why i say when you, when you live like that man like there's there's that saying that goes uh there's no better uh, pillow than a good conscience, you know? And that's true. Uh -huh. You just rest a lot yep, better. Yep, yep. Oh, man, constantly. I wonder how people can sleep at night. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, you have to have a conscience first before you can get a guilty one. Yeah, no, that's true. And that, and I, and and that's the other thing, you know, tra constantly training your conscience to do the right thing because it could it could sway you, you know, if you're not careful. Oh, but and well, we're business top heavy, and that, that that's really, you know, um, uh, you can't serve two masters, but we do prefer it. <laughs> so you're a biblical man, I take it. Man. Yeah, no, good. yeah, a little a little more, you know, yeah, uh, uh, marketplace minister, I guess, right? You know, uh, so. It's, at my church, First Baptist in Salinas, uh, you know, we, we got the, the streets of Bethlehem. And uh, one of the pastors put up a thing, a uh, sign, uh, now entering your mission field, right on the outside of the parking lot. So, you know, you know you're, you're, you're just right outside your front door. You know, I mean, come on. So let's get to mission in. Uh, so there, we got a green notice. The whole point of why I'm here is, is we got a green notice from the 21st. Uh, for today at 8 a.m. Okay, for an eviction. No eviction. There are no evictions going okay, on. Okay, um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you a picture. Um, I believe you, but there's no... So are you guys the ones that brought this There's no evictions there? going on. The sheriff's office did come. So, um, but, 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 but we, we would like to know because, you know, it says 924, uh, vacay by 924, 8 a.m. Okay. Um, uh, uh, do, you, do you know who would have posted that? Yeah. We would have posted that. One of our officers would have posted But they're not... Listen to me. So, I'm yeah, not doing evictions right where, now. Right. We're not doing that. No, there I, may be some in the future, but we're not doing that. That notice is given date and time when we keep out here and contact them. It's not too late. Right. Yeah, I saw those words. I just know what I'm doing So I was happy today. about that. Yeah, that's um, not sure. Uh, uh, another thing that, that, that would be good is, um, okay. uh, uh, you know, stating the points you, you, that you already said. You're not evicting anyone. You're just, uh, uh, you know, doing yeah. that. And, uh, you know, you might want to move. Uh, it, it, because uh, stating something like that in writing would have been a lot better and a lot less scary. If, if, if that was actually what, what was told even on the Tuesday? Because we know what happened in December. Of course. You know? So this is a, this is a formula. I wasn't here. It's kind of, sorry. We were kind of having two different conversations. So I wasn't here in December. I was down at another station. This was my beat for 28, 29 years. We took good care of it, especially when we had the resources to do that. All we're doing right now is telling them there's equipment uh, that's going to be operating. And it's going to be a safety issue for some people. So... That, that may be in that affected area. That's all we're doing. So, so if, 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 there were, if there were eviction notices, that was because there's bad communication. I personally talked to the the um, the uh, 
county engineer and asked him what was going to be going on here. And he told me there's no evictions, we're just going to do some work. And I'm like, good, that's what we wanted here, and that's what we're doing right now. So okay. I just have a couple more people I want to make sure that are notified that there should be heavy equipment here. And then we're going to, if there's anything changes in the future relative to that, they're going to step that up. Um, we can always talk to you. We will definitely. <laughs> yeah, please, <laughs> please. And, and awesome. you got a number? I'll, I'll give you my number too. Grateful. Um, you know, because, right because uh, 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 I'm sorry. you John? Uh, Wes. I'm sorry? Wes. At the top. I can't. I don't West White. West White. Good yes, to meet sir. you, sir. Uh, I, and, um, I'm Dave Murray, by the way. <laughs> oh, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, uh, and sorry for the camera. Not at all. But, um, uh, so, the, this thing, the, the reason why I make it such a big deal about the 24th, 8 a.m., is because another guy was given a red notice a few months ago. And uh, um, that, that was completely color of authority. And I want to know if it was the same guy. No, I don't. I don't. A red notice too. Yeah. Well, this is months ago, and I'll, 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 I can show you this if, if, if you it. really want to go through with it. Um, and, and I have it as a thing too. Um, and I'd like you to to follow through with it. Um, you know, um, because because it, it does feel like like um, there is some there there is at least one rogue officer in your midst that uh, has done this on a couple of occasions. Yesterday being one, and the red one being another. And uh, uh, has there been any other times? So so camping is illegal here. So yes. first, it is illegal here. This is not public lands. This is this is trespassing instead of trespassing. Mm -hmm. However, we choose not to enforce it to the letter of the law because it's not in everybody's best interest. Does that make sense? Yes. So that wouldn't be rogue. That would be literally following the letter of the law. But there are times but when not, we not, not exactly. go go ahead. There, there are times when we use our discretion because that's in everyone's best interest. The law is written to serve the people, and we serve the people. It's not written to persecute people it's not that's not what's supposed to be done so we use our discretion when we're allowed to interpret that to the benefit of everybody does that make sense and that's what the judges give us authority okay to. uh so, so now tell, tell, tell like, me how did that conversation go down so it was it was a, it was a it was a red it was a red notice and i believe it was officer martinez i'm gonna no sorry mendoza i believe it was him i'm not sure if it was him because i don't remember which which one it was okay um it was a younger guy and he comes out. He scribbled out. He scribbled out the dates on it, which was probably like six months later. You know, scribbled out the dates on it and handed him a, a pamphlet and said, you, "This is going to you're being evicted. That he had 24 hours to leave." Like for me, that's not. I mean, that's, that's not, not what even, you just stated. That's not okay. And and see, when you tell when you tell one person that they have to be evicted, that's going to travel, and you know, that's going to every, everybody's yeah, going to see that's going to yeah. and everybody's going to start, um, you know, freaking out and. Like, like we only seen one, like one pamphlet. I only seen one person come up to me and give me the thing. And like, Monica, what do we do? What do we do? I'm like, hold on, I'm gonna go to Santa Cruz and try to figure something out. You know, even though it's Monterey County, I understand, but I still have resources. You know, that that will help me. You know, and I, my community is frightened. Like, on the other side, they're come. My, my some people are coming home to no no houses, and they went to work in the fields all freaking day. You know, and like right. they're like coming home back to nothing. Like, where did my stuff go? There's no letters, no nothing, no nothing, and so. Um, I just, I feel for the people that can't read or write, and I feel for the people that don't understand English because some of the officers don't speak Spanish, you know? So that, too, was, was one of the issues yeah. with this Yeah, it seemed to be a major scare tactic, and, and that, that yeah. creates trauma. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, so <laughs> the last thing I want to do is scare anybody uh -huh. or traumatize anybody. I, I'm here as a caregiver, not, not Wonderful. as a, an intimidator. Appreciate That's not that. why we took an oath to do our job. We're protectors by nature. That's what we do. And that's why I do what I do. I make more money doing something yeah. else. It's well, not I would, why I'm here. I'm, I, I am telling you right now, I got. I have, have PTSD. I've been mentally effed up here in my brain because of what happened last year. So when you guys come, I'm... I'm feisty, you know. I'm like, I'm like, I'm yeah. like, they're coming, so I, I, I gotta go over here and go get these people, and I'm stressing ten times more about go getting these people because I'm the only one going to go help, you know, to go save us, you know. And so, you know, with that, with that being said, like, you have to understand when word travels from one person to another person, it's the, it's the telephone game, first of all. Second of all, right. I have to go check and see what's like really going down because, you know, it's and Monica, just, to 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 your point. To, to serve that point. That's why he and I are out here. I'm on my day off. He's working to actually make sure everybody gets the right word mm -hmm. and some clarity. Mm -hmm. We don't, we understand how that mm -hmm. can kind of get spun up and we don't want that. So we're out here pretty much on our, 
yeah. on our own uh, um, initiative to make sure I mean, we, we don't have to do this. Yeah, you and, know, and, and we this, want to. It, we want to make sure everybody has the word and there's no misunderstanding. And you know, that, makes, that makes it a little bit then, more okay, but I just want, like, like I said, I, I'm, a, I'm really, I've been physically, mentally, and emotionally fucked off of my head because of, you know, what happened last year, you know, and I actually caught hypothermia because, you know, the day before they took my, my place, the, and that night they got to put my tent up and it rained and I got soaking wet and it was just the most, I had nothing to put on. I had no clean clothes. I had no nothing because the water had, you know, it really, it really, really, really messed me up badly. Mm. <laughs> well, we're going to talk before anything else happens. Okay, thank you. Mm. I, I, I do want to kind of consult you relative to what you think would be the most effective, and we'll see what we, we can do. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's not that's not lip service. No. I don't know any other way to deal with that problem yes. unless we work on it, right. and I can't do it by myself. Mm -hmm. You can't, I can't either. Do it by myself either. So. Well, like like uh, uh, Deputy Nunez was saying, may, maybe you could just take out the, the, the green page and just give the, the CHP, CHSP uh, pages for the services. True, and, that, uh, that, and, that, and then another page uh, prefacing that with the, the, the three statements, points that, that you wanted to tell people. True, I, I, I wouldn't debate that in one way or another. It's probably, it's probably yeah, a just a suggestion for the future. That's probably a good idea. But, and, and keep in mind also that we don't have the authority to say, you can stay here. You can no, of course not. You can violate. I can't. Right. That's the line that we. Oh, can't so that, that's why you can't put anything in print like that. I can't. Well, I can't. If I take that off, and you're like, okay, everything's fine. They just want me to get social services, and and I can stay here. And then then later, the somebody comes in and says, hey, now we've got complaints. You have to go, and you're trespassing. That sends a confusing message. Well, no, no. If so, the one thing about that, if there's no date, at least you realize, okay, I'm not supposed to be here. But there's no eviction date, and when we make contact. We can. It's a point of discussion that yes, technically you're not supposed to be here, right. but we are not evicting you right now. We're just letting you Could know here's services. You know, if you need that, reach out to us again. So I think that's actually sending both messages effectively. All right. As long as there there was a date put on that one, and I think somebody just filled it out, and that was. Uh, you know, that's just an oopsie. That we'll wasn't an infliction. Right now. Yeah. Uh, okay. So so <laughs> so you you're pretty sure that that wasn't an infliction. That was just an oopsie. Yes, okay. that was a miscommunication, obviously. Okay. But, uh, again, I talked to uh, I talked to the head engineer of Monterey um, uh, Water sorry. Resources. I'm very tired. Sorry. Thank you. And uh, we straightened that out. That is not what's going on. Excellent. It's just work. Happy sure. for that. Okay. Um, and and but see, even that balance of the of the you know you know you're not supposed to be there. That can be directly stated in that in that form too. To you know just cover your butt. Uh, but it, it, clear communication in writing sure. would be much much more effective than orally. I agree, or both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yes. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Reinforce the idea. Thank Good you very much, you. David. Thank you. Pleasure we'll, meeting and, you. And we'll be talking, no doubt. Right. Okay. And then the twenty seventh, there should be that activity. I don't know, Mark. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Yeah. Pleasure to meet both of you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Stay safe out there, guys. Take care.